So here she is, the El Camino in all her glory. Just giving you guys a quick little run around in case you forget anything. Just some random parts in the back. Old exhaust off the old MG. We'll go into, go into that later. Another video. But uh, yeah. Still just a diamond in the rough. You know, if you uh, watch my other videos or if you didn't, I'll just give you a refresher. So uh, yeah, it runs. Holly FI, 350 Chevy, small block, nothing fancy. Uh, little comp cam. Nothing crazy. Uh, needs a transmission, high gear slips. But other than that, uh, needs alignment. Well, I'm going to put all new control arms on the front. So it needs just ball joints. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a bigger rear axle at some point. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to put some shocks on it because, you know, it's a... I don't know if you can really... It's bad. Shocks are worn out. So I got shocks. going to throw them on. Hopefully that... Uh, Helps that out. All right, so here are the shocks. Like I said, I ordered these from Rock Auto. Uh, I have both good and bad experiences with Rock Auto. It's not necessarily in the parts they send me. It's just in the parts being correct to what I'm doing. But uh, so we can see here, what's that say? Made in China, okay. Yeah, these were like 10 bucks a piece. So it's like I said, I plan on doing whole new uh, front control arms and uh, I'm going to a whole different axle so these are just kind of temporary bits that I'm throwing on for now till I uh, do all that other stuff the only thing the, the, almost the only reason that uh, I keep ordering from Rock Auto and like I said I don't want to knock them I, you know I've, I've had both good luck and bad the only reason I really keep ordering things from Rock Auto, and I think I'm going to stop after seeing it, <laughs> is I like the little magnets. I like getting the little magnets because I like putting them in my toolbox. But walking over my toolbox, let's see, get you a good look at this one. 2008 Michaels Dodge built with Rock Auto part, or 208, whatever. And then if you just look at the one I already have. So now I have doubles, yeah. and I'll do that later. Well, yeah, but, 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 but well, my point is I, I like I like the magnets. I don't know why, because I mean, like, obviously that's just a GMT 18 or a GMT 800 Chevy pickup. That's nothing special. Uh, I don't even know what a GTM is, but that thing's pretty sweet. Uh, just a BMW. I don't, you know, who cares? But it's 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 neat. But anyway, I'm going off on a strangent. This will probably all get edited out. Those are my shocks, get them unboxed, make sure they're right stuff. We got the front right out. Was it bad? I don't know, what hand even is it? What the hell? Gas adjust. Never heard of that before, I'm also uneducated, so. But, I don't know if it was really bad. I know the rears are definitely junk. But I mean, if you replace them all, replace them all, so. Uh, Got the new ones right here. Those are the rears, these are the fronts. Front came out uh, pretty swell. So uh, let's, get the, let's get the new ones in. Okay, so I got the fronts on. Wheels are back on. Fronts, uh, front shocks are completely done. And I'm um, tearing apart the rear, uh, driver's side rear. And uh, if you don't know what you're doing on cars, if you truly are just mechanically uh, declined, inclined, Decline. If you're just bad with working on cars, if you're bad with lefty loosey, like if you're just yeah mechanically decline. If you're just bad at that, uh, please don't try. If you if you can't follow instructions or understand, this is how this piece came out. It's got to go back in that way. If you can't understand that, just please don't work on cars. And I, I'm going to explain why I'm saying that. Now, I do say I don't know what I'm doing all the time, and to a certain degree, I don't, and I mean that, but. You know, I, I like to think of myself as mechanically inclined because I know how to turn a wrench. I understand if something comes out one way, it goes back in that way. Pretty simple stuff when working on cars. But, let me show you. So, these are the new rear shocks. Let me just... So, that is your rear shock. This goes 
on top, this goes on bottom, right? Okay. So that rubber bit your bushing. And uh, don't know the technical term for that, but that would be your, uh, your mount, right? So this goes into your uh, control arm or axle, or what, in this case it'd be an axle. That, that'd go on the bottom. It would mount in, you know, like so. And then you put your bolt on. And that's fixed. You know, that, that's solid. That's, that's tight. And then you slide the shock over it, like so. Get it all the way through. And then you put your washer and your nut on it, right? That, that, that's how you properly do this, because that's how it's designed. Now let me show you whoever put on shocks last. Uh, I bought this car December, so just just about a year ago, and uh, running and driving. Uh, I don't know if the dude I bought it off of did this, or someone before him, he said it went through a few owners. Dude I bought it off of was like a year or two younger than me, and I'm 21, so yeah. Uh, I, I mean, he seemed pretty uh, good with cars. I, I don't want to say it was him. I don't, I don't, I don't like uh, disrespecting people, but uh, I'm not going to say it was him. I don't know who it was. But uh, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. So, uh, crawl under here. Let me get on my creeper. So here is uh, the old chalk and the old bushing. So you can see this is the part that would go here in that hole. So you bolt that into that hole put your nut on it like so it's fixed it's done then you can just that stays you just slide that off and slide the new one on simple right <laughs> no yeah whoever did this last i took the bolt off of here thinking this would all slide off because i you know i was just looking real quick trying to get it done then i took the bolt off and i realized well that is obviously that's not going anywhere and then I got to look at how you can see it's flat right there to put a wrench on it if it's uh, slipping. Like when you're trying to put a nut on the other end. So the person that put this on last had, I'm, I'm not even going to try to compress it, had this end on, the, sl the, the, the side that's supposed to just slide off, they had that into the mount. And you can see the rubber bits all around it. I mean, obviously it didn't hurt nothing, but it's just annoying that it was like that. So thankfully the shock kit came with new mounts, which they usually do. So I'm going to put the new ones on, do it right this time. And, uh, but yeah, sit up. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it amazes me working on a, Cars, other people's cars, cars I buy off other people. And like I said, I, I have no degree. I have no piece of paper proving I know what I'm doing on cars. I just do it a lot. And I've been doing this for all my life. So pretty much from the time I can hold a wrench. So obviously I wasn't tearing apart motors when I was five. But you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say. I've been, uh, I mean, I'm, I've been steady working on cars for the past six years of my life. And, uh. Just some of the stuff I see, and this is this is one of them. Like I said, it, it it's not a big deal. This isn't hurting anything. It's just just annoying and just kind of funny to see what 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 would go through other people's heads when they go to put something back together. Like, oh, this must go here. No, it doesn't. Stupid. Put it back how it was. You know, put it back how it should be. Put it back how it looks to be right. Like that. That's that doesn't even look right. Like there was barely any of the of the stud out of the hole. The nut was on only halfway, so like, there's my rant. So uh, I'm going to finish getting that shock off and uh, get the other one off, get the other rear shock off and put them on and uh, see if we have a difference. All right, so uh, quick and easy and done. We got all new shocks on the Elko and it definitely, uh, definitely stiffened it up. They were definitely worn out, especially in the rears mainly. But here, I tried to compress it a little bit. I mean, you guys probably can't tell, but it's definitely sitting a little higher, which is as expected when you put new shocks on. Definitely sitting a little higher, and I definitely noticed that when I tried to shake the rear end. See if I can... I don't even know how to do it well for you to... 
Right, I'm shaking the can. You ain't gonna be able to tell. But my my point is, it uh, definitely got rid of a lot of sway I had, and uh, you know, body roll that you're gonna have with worn out shocks. And uh, now I'm not looking to be performance autocross El Camino, but I want a good ride and I want proper equipment. Here you can see the old shocks. Like right there. I mean, even if that shock's good, just look at that bushing. It's just shot. But, uh, I mean, all the bushings are dried out. You can see all the, these are the fronts, so that might be from oil from the motor, oil from the shocks. I mean, who knows, but they're, they're junk. And then, said shocks is a commonly overlooked item on vehicles, especially on older cars, because you don't, you're more worried about getting it running, getting it on the road, tires, motor, transmission, drivetrain, stuff like that brakes you never think about your shocks and they make world of difference on the ride world of difference on handling launch everything like that and you know like i said i just went on rock auto they're like 10 or 15 bucks a piece so really quick and easy really really cheap i mean i'm not saying these are going to last me 100,000 miles don't get me wrong and i'm not saying they're the best shocks around but they're new so that's what i want i want a new shocks but uh really simple to do i mean it took me an hour and uh, when I work on things, I just take my time because I'm not in a rush and I enjoy doing it. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, shocks are on. There's a little quick video for the Elko. Uh, probably uh, got to get the MG out. I'll give you guys an update. Or I haven't even really showed you guys the MG yet. So show you guys that and show you what we've been doing and what we are, what our hopes to do are next year, next season. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks everyone again for watching. Looking to get my uh, subscribers up. I'm looking to get my views up. So uh, please share the channel with your friends, family, random people, strangers, homeless people, people who don't have internet, Amish people. I don't even care. Just, uh, you know, it'd really be cool to get this uh, channel growing. The more it grows, the more videos I'm going to put out, the more different types of content. Got lots of ideas. Me and my friends, my family got lots of ideas. And I uh, would love to get them out to you guys. So, uh... Yeah, have a good one.